Teo is a short, silent film that uses cinematic visuals to convey the story of this um, young dreamer who loves inventing and creating, and um, he's just he's so sick of this small town that he grows up in, and just wants to escape to the big city because he feels that that's the only place where he can truly, you know, fulfill all of his dreams. And his character is actually an essence of of a lot of us who feel that we always wait for this this moment where we can be our fullest, where we feel that we have to do something or we have to leave or change somewhere, like a big thing needs to happen for us to be able to fulfill our highest you know, capabilities, when actually you could just be that in your present state. So I met Raphael for, on a different project and he was showing me different compositions that he had made and he started talking about a character and this day and night and village and so he, the more he would play and the more he would narrate over it, I was just so taken into this world. A few months later, she came to me and she said that she would have a big project filmed in Lebanon with a big crew. And I said that I would be, I would be glad to, play the, to write the music for her. And she said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Um, you're going to co-write this because I want your story. And so we decided to go in details in the script and create real characters, create a an ending to the story, and at the time it wasn't called Theo, it was called The Story. And um, she had someone, she, we had to add someone to the team, a, a third person to the team to make Theo real, and she had someone really particular in, in, in mind. And she's sitting right behind his camera, so <laughs> <laughs> super funny. <laughs> okay, so I and Raphael blindfolded me, and Raphael started playing his musical composition, and I was thrown into this world of visuals and just, I could picture everything, see the way Teo moved and the way he acted and I don't know, I thought the music was a very nice way to move the story along. There's two things that's very attractive to this. First, the filming bit, which is the challenge of bringing a silent film to life. Well, as it's a silent film um, shot with modern cinematic techniques, uh, when I, heard, when I first heard about the story, I was very intrigued because uh, it, me it meant that I could experiment with so much. I wanted it to be a story filled with visuals and colors. It's making something out of nothing, and that's what the story is about. It's about this kid being who he can be out of nothing. Uh, we can make something beautiful, I think. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of things that have to come on board when we look at budgeting and it includes equipment, it includes catering, um, everything from crew to cast. There is um, a lot of things that go into pre-production, production and post-production. What takes up most of the budget is definitely camera. What comes out is, is an artwork, it's a piece of, it's a film. So we have really big goals for this film. We want to submit it to festivals, big and small, worldwide. Uh, what goes into the film is literally the making of it. We need everyone's help, you know, whether it's not, we're not just looking for money. I mean, money is great. Uh, it's going to help with our budgeting. But we're looking for if, if people have contacts, you know, um, we need catering, sponsorship, all of these things. And really, we're open to anyone's help. We love you. Give us connections. Help us out. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> Goodbye.